Hey guys, so in this quick tutorial, I am going to show you all how to use the KV Core dialer within the app, and then also how to set up your CRM inside of KV Core to make sure that you are prepared for this. So first things first, we're gonna go over to your smart CRM. Inside of your smart CRM, you'll notice that at the top of mine, I have what are called saved filters. Basically what that is, is where I have taken my contacts and now I have created specific filters. These could be filters like expired listings. They could be um, for sale by owners. They could be people inside of your neighborhood. It could be any number of things. In order to create the saved filter, you're going to go to all of your contacts, click on filters right here in this little section. Once you get to filters, this is where you're going to be able to pick how you want to filter them out. Um, if you're unsure, I, well, let me just tell you this first. I don't use the contact statuses. I find that the contact statuses don't really help me out um, only because KV Core moves people in and out of those. You can select assigned users. That's going to be more though for um, people who are sharing leads or if you're a team leader. So Chris might use these to see who um, are leads that he has shared with specific people or if they've been shared by him. So leads that he has actually given out to people. What you're probably going to use more often is going to be these contact details. For example, you can group all of your current buyers that are in your system all of your sellers who are in your system. You can search by hashtag. So if you have imported your neighborhood and you want to create a saved filter so that way you can send them out mass email marketing um, and or use it for the dialer, you can do that. Um, obviously, we need people who have a phone number. Um, we need people who maybe have done certain behaviors. So inside of the behaviors, these could be people who don't have search alerts. So maybe my purpose of my calling them is going to be if they would, if they were going to buy their next home, what area would they want to look in? And now we can send them out a monthly list of homes that are for sale in that area. So that way they can kind of see one, what the price is like and two, what um, the market kind of looks in there. People that do not have market reports, those that would be a good list to call just to let them know, hey, one of the things as a real estate agent that I'd love to be able to share with you is what's going on in the market, specifically in your neighborhood or zip code. Is that something that you would like? And if they say yes, then you just get their zip code and then set those up. So basically, once you have created your filter, you're going to apply the filter. By applying the filter, it's going to take into consideration all of the search criteria that you've created for this specific filter. And now over on the right-hand side, we're gonna see only people who are in that type of filter, okay? Once you're finished, you're gonna hit save filter. Now, once you have saved the filter, this comes up. You need to give it a name. And then if you want it to be up at the top like mine, you have to hit this, pin this filter as a quick link at the top of my CRM and then save that filter. Once you save it, then you're going to be able to see those filters up here. Now, let's say that you have created filters and you can't see them up there. In the filter tab, you see this little gear right here. You're going to click this gear and now it's going to show you all of your saved filters. So you'll notice I do have some other saved filters, but I just don't have them tagged at the top. If you want to untag them at the top, you just click the blue box. If you want to actually delete this filter, then you click this X. When I click this X, it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to do that? If you've made a mistake, you hit no. If you actually do want it to be deleted, then you can hit yes. And then before you X out, make sure you hit save. So that way any of your changes are going to show up. Now, let me stop sharing on here and go into here and share my screen of what it looks like on the dialer. So let me share my screen. All right. Okay. So this is your actual dialer. Okay. When you log in, um, it's basically the KV Core mobile app. So when you get on there, you're going to go into the KV Core mobile app. It's going to ask you to log in. 
your login is going to be the exact same as when you log into KV Core. So it's going to be your first name dot last name at exprealty.com, same password. Now the dialer is all the way down here at the bottom. Okay. So right down here is where it shows the dialer. It has the little phone. Okay. So I'm going to click on that dialer. And now I can see everything that's going on. I can see the calls that I'm supposed to make today. These are new leads that have come in. Um, activity stream are going to be leads that have been searching for properties. So those are great people to call. And active leads are going to be people that um, I, let me move myself down here, um, that are going to be uh, people who obviously are not active. But right here, it says view a custom list. When you click on here, it's going to say, okay, well, here are all of your saved filters. These are all the saved filters that I've created inside of KV Core. So they've dragged over. Now, let's say that I'm going to call these 72 hour sold agents. I click on their name. Here are all of them. Okay. Now, down at the bottom, and I'm not even sure if you can see this on my thing, but down at the bottom, there is a dial now button. When I click on that dial now button, it's going to tell me it's going to call this person in four and two, one. And now it's going to call them. So what it does is it shows me the number. I'm going to have to click that button. And now I'm going to go ahead and be able to talk to them. Once, let's say that I don't want to call them. So I'm going to hit cancel. Now it has stopped it. Now, right here, it says that I can skip that person. And then I could go on to the next one. So I hit skip. It's going to go to the next person right in here. Again, look, it's telling me that it's counting me down. And then it's gonna say, hey, call this person and here is their phone number, okay? So this is how you use the dialer. The cool thing is, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel. I can go ahead and I can look at the task for this person and it'll show me anything that's gonna be going on right here is their profile. So here's their name, their phone number, their email. Um, I can also see if they're getting anything, what their hashtags is, um, kind of a summary of what's going on. Um, if they say at that time that they'd like to unsubscribe to text or emails, I can go ahead and do that. Um, and the cool thing is, let me go ahead and click on. So the concierge can be on or off. So basically this, this um, lead's going to be removed from that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. And it's going to keep that on there. And then again, it's telling me again, hey, do you want to call them? Um, so guys, this is how you're going to be able to use the dialer inside of KB Core. I hope this quick tutorial was helpful. If you have questions, by all means, reach out and get to calling. Bye, guys.